What's up everyone, this is JR Production X and I got a comparison for you guys. On the left we have the MacBook Air, on the right we have the MacBook Pro. They are both the most up to date and recent released by Apple. On the left we have the MacBook Air, it has 11.6 inch screen, a 1.6 GHz dual core Intel Core i5 processor, it has 2 GB of memory, 64 GB flash storage, and it weighs in at 2.38 pounds and you get about five hours of battery life on one single charge and it costs about nine hundred ninety nine dollars on the right with the macbook pro this is the thirteen inch model has two point three gigahertz dual core intel core i5 processor has four gigabytes of ddr3 and the hard drive is three hundred twenty gigabytes at fifty four hundred revolutions per minute and you get about seven hours of battery life while this one costs about two hundred dollars more for the macbook pro I right, just give you guys some speed comparisons. First off, we have Geekbench. So let's open those up. Click and run. All right, the score on the MacBook Pro, we got 5,956. On the new MacBook Air, we only got 4,639. There's a pretty big difference between those two scores. All right, now let's move on to the iMovie test. All right, these are both five-minute video clips, same exact video clip. They're exported in 720p, and let's see the different time on both of them. Right, on the MacBook Pro we got about 11 minutes while on the MacBook Air we got about 15 minutes now I'm going to do a boot up comparison the MacBook Air just has a little bit of head start the MacBook Air has solid state drive so it should be a lot faster than the MacBook Pro but the MacBook Pro is a lot faster there it is already loaded let's we'll see how these compare the MacBook Pro is still loading these are both the low end model these are both the base model for both of these computer MacBook Pro is still going. I have to say this is the only thing that the MacBook Air beats it in. Alright, there you go, it's almost done. And there you go. On the left side of the MacBook Air with the MagSafe, USB 2.0, headphone, and microphone. On the right side, we just have a Thunderbolt port and another USB 2.0. On the MacBook Pro, we have the MagSafe power port, Ethernet port, FireWire 800, Thunderbolt, two USB, SD card slot, headphone jack, and battery meter right here. And on the right side, we just have the CD-ROM. I would definitely recommend the MacBook Air if you're on the go a lot or traveling. But if you're wanting more power, definitely go with the MacBook Pro. This is Jared Production X signing off.